Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. Have you ever gotten that phone call from a friend, cousin, family member? Would you please come out and help me with this? Or come out and see this thing that I'm doing right now? The first thing that you think of is an excuse of why not to go. You will go all out. You will just think of things. You even lie just to not go. Have anybody? Yeah. We all go through those things. About four years ago, I got that call from my ex-wife. She said, Jose, can you come and take a look at this? So the first thing I thought, just like most of us, it's one of those things. You know those things, the periods. You know. But I sat because I thought that if, like a good ex-husband would do, if I sit in, she'll stop bothering me. <laughs> but one of those things makes sense to me. I sat down, listened, and it just made sense to me. So I did it. And throughout my journey through business ownership, I have noticed that many of us have the wrong understanding about what these things are. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a comparison with those things and what we do every other day or every normal day. There are three major stigmas about these things. One, that the person on top makes all of the money. Two, you will not make any money. Three, that if you hear it from someone that you know that has not made any money, you will not make any money. We will say that's true statements. So let's go over these. One, the person on top makes all the money. Yes, so is your supervisor. Compare. Do you have a supervisor? Yes. Is he on top? Yes. Does he make more money than you? Yes. But what happens is that in order for you to what? Make as much money as he does, not only do you have to wait till he retires, he moves on, you get a better educated, and you take on that position. It's shaped the same way every other organization. Compare. The United States government. President on top, everyone else on the bottom. He makes all the money, and most people think he can barely run the country. I know he can, me personally, but most people think that he cannot run a country. So, yes, the person on top always makes the money. The key is that you have to go on top. How? I'll work the next person under you, or above you. All you gotta do is I'll work. Part two, you're not going to make any money. True, it's up to you whether or not you want to make any money. You work hard, you make money. You don't work hard, you make some money. Regardless of the fact you're going to make money. So I compare at your job. 
If you go to work, you get paid. If you don't go to work, you don't. Some of these businesses actually get paid while you are sleeping. Three. Now, if I believe a cousin of my cousin or some type of family member did not make any money, I'm not going to make any money. Let's make the comparison again. Would you take advice from somebody that is not living the lifestyle that you want to live? So with that being said, I look at myself. I said I wanted to be at a, in a place, in a position where I could leave or live financially free. That I could retire from the United States Army and I have to work again. And after four long years, I sit here saying that I'm glad I never listened to that person. Because if not, I probably could not be retiring right now. So as I compare both of these interest, industries, I hope that I could get you to understand just a little bit different about those things. So with that being said, thank you for listening. Everybody have a blessed day. Thank you very much.